Hello everyone, it's Sysgolaps and this is Stoneblock. Hope you're all having a good day. I'm having a pretty amazing one myself. We're going back to this pretty cool pack here. We just got to get her done. So in between episodes, I haven't done a ton, but I did do a little bit of stuff here. So let's take a quick little look-see. Uh, I planted these trees here. These are the mineral trees. So I got them kind of planted. We got that sapling last episode. I thought I'd get a go at here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. It is uh, integrated dynamics, but we can use the berries to make torches, which I did doubt here. Uh, these are the torches. They actually don't have any um, actual particle effects, which is pretty cool. Uh, they have some custom wood. Get some sticks. And uh, you can use this crystal to actually make some blocks and to uh, make some cables and stuff. So don't know if we'll get into that. We may get into some components of it. So I just wanted to get it planted. I made another bonsai. Also kind of increase the size of our smeltery and kind of finish off that quest there. So that is pretty cool. I actually have a couple quests to kind of grab. So let's go ahead and grab them while we're here. Let's grab that one. Let's get our cobblestone generator because apparently I didn't do that one. And uh, there's our iron mesh because I actually did that in between episodes as well. Oh, there's another one. I actually just got done sieving. Uh, I just did 18 stacks of dust uh, <laughs> to get us redstone. So I wanted to have redstone. We got a little bit of glow, uh, glowstone as well, which is pretty cool. A couple other materials like blaze powder. And that's because I have the iron mesh now. Uh, now when I do dust, I get some extra resources. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, we've got some wyvern cores, which is pretty awesome, from Draconic. We've got ourselves some upgrades, speed, and some epic bacon, which is actually really good food. So my plan for today is kind of to, I think, to automate this and uh, automate dust. So that's what I'm kind of going for. So I'll probably get to that real quick. Oh, also the mob farm. It isn't working very well. I, I've been killing the mobs down here and kind of trying to, you know, finish that uh, mob quest up. But I'm still not through it. Like, I still need more rotten flesh. I think I have all of pretty much everything else we need I'm gonna grab some of these as well <laughs> might as well have them eh let's just grab them but uh yeah it's not working very well so we're gonna be doing that soon probably not today but uh we're gonna be definitely doing another mob farm before too long because it's just not producing uh since we got these loot bags let's go ahead did i grab my redstone let's grab a redstone real quick and our iron because we got a good amount of that now 17 stacks um not 17 stacks 17 blocks i wish i had 17 stacks because uh, that would be amazing. Uh, anything else I need out here right now? I don't think so. Maybe that glowstone. Let's bring that. So yeah, let's kind of make it so we can open these up a little more cleanly, I guess. So I think we're actually going to need to smelt some stone for this. So let's do that. Let's grab you. And, uh, let's throw you in there real quick. And uh, what we're going to make is, I think they're called loot bag opener and recycler, right? So we're going to make one of these puppies. So let's wait till we get a couple stone here, apparently. Because <laughs> I uh, wasn't quite ready. There we go. That should be enough for the first one. This is the actual opener. So let's grab that. No, this is the recycler. Uh, we're going to need the opener as well, which also takes a bunch of stone. So let's do that. Let's go to opener. And uh, basically all these do is kind of manage your bags for you, which is actually pretty cool. And uh, make it so if you don't want some things out of the bags, you can throw back in and get more bags out of it. So I'm just going to throw them like right here for right now. I'll automate this later on. But uh, let's go to the opener. Start putting in our good bags first, I suppose. Emeralds are good. Apples are good. Boots are good. Actually, those boots, you can't really do much with them. So I'm going to take them and throw them in here. You notice we got some stored loot value. And that's because I put the boots in there. When that hits 1,500, it's actually going to give me another loot bag. So that's what that's about. Uh, probably keep that. This air charm is actually really good. I'm going to equip that right away. Uh, we basically have flight now. <laughs> it is slow flight. But uh, it's flight. It does have a durability, though. So, yeah, definitely a thing. But uh, pretty cool. Climbing gloves. Usually I would use these. But these things, they'll let you climb walls, right? So you can kind of put it here. We'll climb the walls. Um, but I don't think we need them in this pack because of where we are. So, yeah, since we're down, I, I just don't think we're going to need them. So I'm going to get rid of them. But basically, you can just, you know, toss stuff you don't want back. It doesn't take all the stuff, but it will take most of it. Door key is good. Magic bean. Okay, so I used these once before, and they're actually utterly insane. I don't know if they've been changed. We'll get into those later on. Basically, when you plant them, you just get a random item <laughs> back out of them. Yeah, I'm going to go through this stuff. Kind of, ooh, upgrade our inventory. This item is actually really cool. I'm going to eat this thing. There we go. It's really loud. But now we have a whole bunch of more inventory slots. And uh, I think we can actually swap bars, too. Yeah, so that was a pretty cool item as well. Uh, pretty neat. Cyclic has some pretty OP stuff. Actually, am I even wearing boots right now? I'm going to wear some bronze booties. 
Anyway, I'm going to go through these later. I just kind of wanted to get this here and kind of show it. This book is really good too, actually. I'm a multi-shot. Anyway, I'm just going to take that. I'm going to throw that stuff in there and uh, kind of sort that out later. Okay, so uh, my mob farm that's down here, my passive one, it isn't going to work. It's only going to work on the custom mobs. So there's ones like Energetic Sheep. There are Fluid Cows in the pack. They'll spawn down here, I believe. But regular vanilla mobs will not. So that is something I want to deal with real quick. So let's grab some bone meal. And I need some uh, some stuff from the bone meal anyway. I need some yellow dye. So might as well get that kind of all taken care of at the same time. We'll just head down here and uh, deal with chickens at the same time. Because I really want chickens. Oh, <laughs> that air charge is making me levitate. Anyway, let's do that. Let's do this. Yeah, let's get some of that. You can actually vein mine the grass, which is nice as well. Makes it a little quicker. I think I need about uh, 16 uh, yellow dye. So uh, we're going to make a system um, to break cobblestone all the way down to um, dust, right? And uh, we're going to do it with no power <laughs> at all whatsoever. And then we're going to also automate those sieves that we have. So should be a pretty cool little episode, I think. So we're going to get it done. We just need to get a couple things here. I need these yellow dye, I think, for actually for um, filters. So that is what that's for. Anyway, let's see how many we got here. Do we have any seeds yet? Yes, I want to make this. This is actually chicken bait. And this is what I was talking about for the chickens. Uh, that'll actually make it so, well, chickens will spawn here. Well, that'll bring one. I'll need another one, actually. There's another one right there. Uh, right there. Sweet. But you do need to have water around it. You can only put so many in an area. So, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Looks like we got all our dye. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, if I need more, I can head back. We'll see if chickens spawn there in a bit. It shouldn't take too long. It usually doesn't. So definitely an option since we're in the ocean. I don't think they're going to spawn. Anyway, let's kind of go over what we need here. Uh, we're going to need uh, mechanical users. That's going to be one thing we need here. We need four of these, I think. Uh, we're going to have to do a little work to get these. Uh, why am I always out of sticks? <laughs> it's because I make so many uh, iron wands and iron hammers. Anyway, we'll do that real quick. Uh, mechanical... User, let's do that. Let's grab ourselves a glass cutter. Sweet. Let's uh, grab one of those ender pearls, I guess, and do that. And then we'll have to make some of these resonating crystal thingies. Make four. I actually think we need five anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. We need some droppers. Should be pretty easy. We only need four of those, I think. And then some levers. Okay. <laughs> pretty easy so far. I'm going to make some extra levers, because why not? And uh, there we go. So there's four of those. That's kind of the first thing we need here. We need some more cobblestone in there and drop that off. Uh, the next thing we're gonna need are block placers, I think. We're gonna need some kind of placer. And uh, probably go with the cyclic ones. They're actually pretty good. And they only take two redstone each, so that's actually pretty decent. Let's uh, do four of those as well. So four of those will probably work out. Uh, we'll need a little more stone here. Thankfully, we went ahead and made some. Sweet. And uh, yeah, let's see what we do here. Oh, you're going to let me make four? What am I missing? Oh, iron. I need you to just convert that over, right? I mean, we got a ton of iron now. I'm not really concerned. Uh, won't last long if we don't uh, kind of keep replenishing it, though. So definitely something we're going to have to do here. So that's kind of the first part of it. Then we're going to need some filters. Like I said, we're going to need these ones down here. And they're going to take the yellow dye. We're going to need paper, though. So let's kind of take care of that real quick. We'll need that. Paper is super easy. We don't need sugar cane at all. I'm just going to grab some of this wood here and probably grab one of these hammers. And uh, I think this hammer is the right one, right? Yeah, there we go. And, uh, we can actually turn that stuff into paper. So that's actually pretty awesome as well. Take that, probably get rid of that seed. There's a bunch of paper. Awesome. And uh, yeah, we can make filters now, right? <laughs> Sweet. We got four of them. Uh, next thing we're going to need is uh, some collectors, I think. So we're going to go collector. Check them out. Oh, we need obsidian for this. So let's go ahead and make one other item. Let's make a clock. We're going to make a redstone clock here. This is going to be to automate the actual smeltery. So we're going to get that done. Uh, I made extra levers, right? So let's actually grab one of them. And uh, a couple hoppers as well. Probably be a good bet. One, two, and uh, some chest, I guess. Do I have chest in there? Does not look like it. Let's uh, pull you for a second. Well, obviously I do. I have two chests right here. That should be good enough. <laughs> let's go and uh, automate this somewhat uh, I did make obsidian here you'll see that there's obsidian the way I do that is basically I can just go and grab a bucket of lava as long as you go to the drain and right click on it I'll actually put it in there 
and then you can kind of add water as well so you can go like here and then put that there there i got obsidian which is pretty cool um also that's one more item we should make let's go ahead and make a sink <laughs> that's something i should have here let's actually make two of them i, I go through a lot of sinks man i'm a i'm a sink madman because they're portable water sources right yeah they're really nice to have but we need some terracotta so i'm just going to get that smelled i suppose is that going wait a second how do you make uh that's terracotta isn't it my vanilla skills are horrible just in case you haven't noticed oh i don't have any uh fuel in there that'll probably help let's grab some of the coal i suppose throw that in there <laughs> and, uh, oh i have charcoal right there even better sweet just let that do its thing then we'll head over here Okay, that was smelting stone. I was really confused for a second because I saw the stone. I was about to run back and all in panic, wondering what was going on. Gonna break that torch, gonna have to move that. Gonna put, uh, I have no idea where that's gonna go. Gonna have to change the torches now because that'll drive me crazy. Uh, we're going to break this right here and uh, that right there. Uh, we're gonna have to get under there, actually. So let's kind of go here. Let's grab a chest. Sweet. Let's pop this puppy right there would probably be nice. I'll fix that later. <laughs> I need to just get right here and uh, throw a hopper. And this will just pull the item when it's kind of finished, the igot, and uh, put it in the chest there. And then automate the smeltery pretty much. Redstone torch just kind of handles everything. Do that. Actually, I don't even need it on this side right now. I need it on obsidian, right? So I need to cast the obsidian blocks right now. So let's do this side first. Uh, so we'll do... You right there, grab a lever, pop that up there. That should already be pouring. I just need to get a hopper under here, and we're good to go. Gonna have to change my floor soon. <laughs> Not because I really want to start decorating or anything, but just because uh, otherwise uh, our floor is going to be just patchwork for cobblestone from breaking this stuff. It's going to drive me insane. But anyway, uh, gonna have you. Put you right there. And I really need a wrench so I can go rotate chests and stuff, but anyway, here we go. Got our ice bucket challenge. <laughs> and there we go. That'll pull the obsidian out. Sweet. And uh, handle that part of it. And I guess I'm going to just do that right now. I didn't get the chest down there, did I? Just do that. And I'll have to make one more redstone clock and get one more lever over here. Then I can bring out stuff like the uh, silver and that stuff all in naked form. And just flick levers, right? So when I turn this off, it'll stop working. If leave it on it'll just keep going i know it's going to hit lava so i don't have to worry about it anyway uh we're going to need transfer nodes too so let's go ahead and make some of them transfer to node right here we'll need some pipes i guess did i have more glass very good question I have a couple let's do a stack <laughs> do that let's grab some pipes i guess we're just going to need some stone slabs sweet and then grab some piping that'll work then we'll go ahead and grab a transfer node and uh these are going to make it so we move items around because we're going to have to be able to auto craft stone hammers uh we're going to do that with a crafter so let's go ahead and grab one of them as well it's from extra utilities and uh yeah should be pretty easy to make uh, let's make a dropper and let's make a regular crafting table and finally the mechanical crafter so I think we have almost everything except for the collectors so we can kind of get this going i need to clear out a little area right here and uh yeah definitely a thing uh we're gonna have to head to the nether soon i'm not sure what it's like in the nether i don't know if it's a void world i don't know if it's gonna be like here and have a whole lot of um you know what i mean blocks it could be entirely nether rack for all i know um if it is fine because i could see down the nether rack and crush it down and get ardite and cobalt out of it so that's really what I'm going there for. So <laughs> kind of curious what it's going to be like, because we'll find out when we get there. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is take these block placers. Which way do I want this? Let's put the mechanical users. We're going to put them on the roof, I suppose. Kind of facing down. Probably work. Then we'll grab these block placers. And I actually want them. Oh, actually, now that I can fly, that's actually really helpful. Uh, going like that right there. How much is that we got? We might have enough for our collectors. We're gonna need four of those. So let's go ahead, go to collector. And, uh, I actually want to get the advanced ones. Oh, I'm gonna need a bunch of hoppers, eh? One, two, three, four, I think is what I need. I think. 
do the bore. It's going to use the bulk of my ender pearls, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. And let's do, I guess I didn't need that many. I want to do the advanced ones because there you need the advanced to actually be able to use the filters. And I think that's pretty much all we need right there. Kind of get this going. We got a lot going on here right now, but it all start making sense. So basically what I'm going to do here is, uh, well, I'm going to have to go grab some hammers to kind of show you. One, two, three, four, five. And then I got some stone here, right? Do I have some more stone in here? Sweet. So the mechanical users are, are have the ability to use tools. So I'm going to make them use tools. I'm going to fill up these inventory slots. So when I automate and start pumping items in here, it'll always be the upper left slot. So that's what's kind of going on there. So I can make it kind of grab a hammer. It'll use the hammer. I can set it to left click. A generic click should be fine. So I've got to make sure that's right on everyone. Do that. Generic click. Upper left. That should be fine. I didn't actually grab the hammers, did I? That's actually unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know how I manage that. Well, I put them in the crafting station. That's how I manage that. There we go. So I kind of want to get the filter set before we do anything, because otherwise it's going to get out of control really quick. We're also going to need two cobblestone generators at least, I think. So yeah, that's definitely a thing. So anyway, I think we're going to pump in. They'll end up here. So they'll end up being a cobblestone generator under here. It's going to feed into the block placer. The block placer will place the cobblestone. At which point, this is going to break it with a hammer. And then we need to be able to pull the item that drops. So you can see there, it just grabbed that cobblestone uh, into here. So we need to set the filter. So let's actually get the filter set. That's probably the next step. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll need a sand. We'll need a dust, I suppose. A gravel. A dirt. And that should be good. Okay. Let's get this set here. So we'll put the first one down. Let's set our first filter. So let's grab one of them. And the first one will be, well, when it breaks the first one, it'll turn it into gravel. So we're going to take one gravel, throw it in the filter. And uh, now I'm going to throw it right there. Right there. <laughs> if I throw a gravel, it should end up there, right? But if I throw anything else, it shouldn't grab it, right? That's exactly what we want. So that one is already set. Next one's going to be, uh, I guess, would be uh, dirt, I think is the second step. So let's do that. Sweet. Then we'll throw you right there. We'll throw the filter in here. Sweet. And then dirt, right? Awesome. Okay, so the next one. Next one will be, well, not that, but the actual, I guess this here. This one will be for the sand, right? So the sand will go here. And uh, yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> Did I actually set that filter? Yes, I did. This one will grab the sand. Oops. That one doesn't have a filter yet, so it just grabbed it. But now it has a filter. <laughs> and it should only grab sand, right? Yes, we're good. We're good. All the filters are set. Uh, we need all these ones set to always on. So I'm going to go like this here. You can see there it already broke the blocks that are inside there. And, uh, that's what should happen, actually. I think it just did it. So if we grab a cobblestone. Throw it in this one. Why is this one not working? Oh, there it goes. Let's just go a little slow for some reason. There, awesome. I probably have this one. No, that one's set right. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, fix this though. I need all these slots filled because otherwise when I do the automation and pump in hammers, it's going to fill all the slot with hammers. And that's kind of wasteful. So we just kind of want to do one slot for each one. And later on, I'll be able to make speed upgrades if I want to speed this up. I really wanted to do, just do this in a different way. And there's an issue actually. So usually I would just, if I, I didn't really explain that. Usually if I was going to automate this, why is there a whole bunch of stuff right there that I can't, okay. Uh, if I was just gonna automate this, I would make something like, you know, a pulverizer, right? Pulv. If you use the pulverizer, I've actually looked at recipes. It'll ground down um, stone into sand. No, sorry, gravel. yeah, sand and gravel but it doesn't know what to do with gravel. It might be the other way around. It just had no clue. It didn't know the turn of the dirt. That dirt recipe has messed up almost every machine in the pack. The only ones that seem to be able to handle it are the auto hammers and uh, the stonework factory. So yeah, that's kind of why I'm doing this way. Plus I wanted to just do it different anyway. So <laughs> that's something as well. Anyway, let's kind of figure out how I'm going to do this. I'm going to throw that there. I'm going to have to set a recipe. So let's kind of set the recipe here. Uh, we're going to need I guess uh, a stick and a 
piece of cobblestone. Yeah, we got that on us. Let's set the recipe. So we just kind of put a stick in here. So bam, bam. Then throw our cobblestone right there and there. So it knows to make hammers now, and it'll actually do it automatically. Uh, we're going to need probably a couple crates. So let's go make a couple crates here. Kind of make this a little easier. Crate. Do you. You. Sweet. And then some crates. So I probably need to make chests, don't I? Awesome. There we go. Crates. Uh, what else do I need here? I probably need some sticks as well. Whatever I have there. A little bit of stone just to make sure we got everything we need. And uh, I think we're good. <laughs> oh, no. Cobblestone generators. We could do that right now. Let's go to cobble stone gen. Grab you. What do we need? Oh, yeah. That takes lava and that. So that. We'll need another bucket, won't we? Let's we grab a bucket. Handle that. Sweet. Get a water. Get a lava. I'm going to have to automate that lava pretty soon, too, actually. Make our lives a little easier. Cub gen. And uh, see what's going on here. Can't remember. Do it. No, it doesn't use the bucket. Sweet. So we can actually make two. I'll come back and make the other one in a couple minutes, but that's fine. So basically, the way I'm going to do this, I need to be able to pump items into this. Cool thing about this crafter, it'll actually automatically grab from inventories. So if I actually do this, it should see stone. Yes, it's just going to see it there. And it'll only take, I thought it would only take the two that it needed. Okay, that doesn't work right then. Uh, we'll have to do that a little different, but it's not going to be much different. Because it shouldn't keep pulling like that. It should only pull once. Uh, let's do the cobblestone generator. I guess under the crate. That'll work. And then it should just pull the stone when it needs it, right? I think it does. Anyway, we'll cut it see here. Let's do that. Is this always on? Yes, it is. I want to try the other crate here. Let's throw this one right here. Let's put sticks in it and kind of see what happens. Yeah, see, it's automatically making the hammers now because it sees sticks here and sees cobblestone here and sees everything it needs for the recipe and just making hammers over and over and over. So that's kind of what I'm going for. And uh, that's going to work out. I'll end up putting a bonsai on top of this one with uh, oak in it or any other kind of tree sapling uh, just to give us sticks. And then it'll kind of just do its own thing. Won't have to worry about it. Anyway, let's kind of go up here for a second. Because uh, the last part of this, I guess, is to set up the piping, which should be super easy. We just need to kind of pump the items all through the top. And, uh, yeah, that'll just make it kind of automatically fill up with hammers. And then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Sweet, 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 and sweet. Pretty cool. I keep forgetting I'm floating now. Why does that dust take so long to break, man? I know it needs a shovel, but that's a successive for dust. I mean, it's dust. <laughs> anyway, we'll do that. So what else do we need here? We're going to need a crate, I guess. We're going to need one more filter, actually. So one more filter. Uh, where am I going to put this one? Probably right there. Let's go ahead and grab this. This one's going to be the dust. So the finished product is going to get pulled into this crate right here. It's going to be dust. So that sounds cool. And I should be able to take that now. So that one right in there. And anytime it sees dust, it should be... Oh, not seeds. Dust. It should pull it, right? Why are you not pulling dust? Did I not set that right? I must not have. Dust. You're going to do it now? So if I threw dust. There we go. Awesome. So that is already pretty much effectively automated. We just, uh, I just got a, I just was thinking about things. Kind of dozed off for a second. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, I forgot I was going to make uh, sinks, right? Let's go ahead and make them as well. I'm surprised this isn't a quest, honestly. It should be in almost every one of these packs. And I'll handle that. There we go. I always have water around. Don't really have to worry about it. I'll find a good spot for it. But basically, you can just take a bucket and just go bam. Always have water. Go ahead and go to you. Awesome. There's our second one. And uh, I need one more bucket. Did I leave it on the table? Yes, we did. There we go. Now I can finally make my cobble gen. <laughs> cobble gen. Sweet. Make you. Because I need to be able to automatically fill that first one uh, with the material I wanted there. So that will give it the cobblestone. And this should be working. This should be working. I don't know why it's going so slow though. There we go. There we go. 
Is it working? Yes. Just like that. That actually worked out really cleanly. <laughs> I was expecting to have problems. That's actually pretty sweet. I really wanted to do this in a different way. I actually think this is pretty neat. I've never tried something like this before. Uh, anyway, that is pretty cool. Did we get a chicken? I think we did. We got chickens down here. We got at least one of them. Oh, we did. We got two of them. We got a baby chicken, and uh, we got a regular chicken. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to deal with them today. We are going to get into that mod, though, pretty soon. That's pretty awesome. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is actually automate the seed, so we'll uh, we'll kind of get to that in a second. And okay, the next thing we're going to do here is actually automate the actual sieve itself and uh, make it so it just kind of grabs resources for us, which is what I'm kind of going for. Uh, we're going to need one more collector. I didn't even think of that. I also need to fix the transfer node because I just realized that I totally said it wrong. But anyway, we'll fix that in a second. Uh, yeah, I'll need one more collector, right? So I'll need a, another hopper and one of you as well. I don't know how I'm going to feed it yet. I guess we could use transfer nodes. That would be fine. And I think that's good. I, we should use an advanced anyway, so let's do that. I don't need a filter. Oh, I am going to need a filter. I'll need a little more um, yellow dye as well. We'll grab that in a second. Uh, let's get to the actual parts we need here. So X Nahilo. So this is the mod that does all the sieving. It's all that jazz. We're going to get this item called the auto sifter. So we're going to actually need a couple pistons. Let's grab that. And uh, we need a bunch of these stone gears. There's actually one recipe, I believe. That is all stone, isn't it? Isn't it? I think so. Let's actually clear that out for a second. Because I'm pretty sure <laughs> that one of the recipes is actually just pure cobble, right? Yeah, you could just use that one. Let's just make a bunch of them. <laughs> do that. Do that. Sweet. And uh, yeah, we need to make one of them as well. Plus some of these stone rods. Let's make a whole bunch of them. I don't know how many. Um, yeah, I don't. depending on how long you kind of make this thing, it kind of goes like faster, right? But I don't think we're going to be feeding it at a speed where we need to make it go super fast. So I'm not too concerned about it. But anyway, we'll kind of see how it works out here. And uh, that should be the auto sifter. We also need some of these uh, water wheels. So we'll kind of grab them as well. Oh, uh, that's four. That's four enough. What am I missing? should probably check. Uh, maybe one more. Let's make one more. Do that. That should be enough there. Oh, maybe not. I, I don't know if it's enough or not. There we go. Grab that. We'll also need a bucket of water. So I'll grab that. And uh, this might be too slow. But if it is, I could just add more water wheels. Oh, I didn't actually grab the water wheels. That helps. <laughs> there we go. And uh, that should be good. Do I want to make one more? That's four. That seems like it's not enough. Right? Am I right? I think so. Let's, uh... <laughs> I'm going to keep second guessing myself. I think I got enough of these, but I'm going to make a couple more anyway. And did yeah. What was it? What were these things? I can't remember. For some reason, my R button for recipe that I usually... Oh! I'm going to have to disable whatever that key is because it's messing things up big time. Uh, yeah, it won't let me check recipes. So <laughs> I'm like uh, all confused why I can't do things. All, all this episode, I've been like, well, what's going on with my mouse, man? What, what am I doing? Yeah, it's just been this uh, crafting table goofing me up. There we go. That's cool. So we got six of them. That should work out. We have one bucket of water. That actually works out pretty well. So let's kind of go down here. We're actually going to have to dig under this thing a little bit. Kind of dig it out. But, uh, should be pretty easy to automate, like I said. Which is pretty amazing. I think we need to have it in the center. I think that's the way it works. Actually, it might not need to be. Let's put it right... Oops, not right there. It does have to go underneath it. But once I do, it should multi-block. So, yeah, that's kind of how that works. If I put it right there, will it work? Yes, it did. But it's facing the wrong way. Need that little gear part to be going the opposite direction because I want to run the water uh, this way. So we'll kind of do it. Maybe at right. I want to be able to feed it from the front though. Yeah, that should work. So yeah, that's actually multi-block right now, which is pretty cool. We're going to dig out a little path here. And, uh, we actually have to get the six of these little water wheelie things <laughs> back here. A little claustrophobic. And, uh, we'll dig it out here. I'm going to need to run a little channel for water anyway, so I'm going to need a second channel. Let's do that. There we go. Then water can run along the side. I'm going to cover up the back so water isn't going all over the place. Kind of get this all done. But yeah, this thing's super easy, and it just it takes no power. And this That was part of the setup I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure this thing took no power at all whatsoever. And, uh, did everything we needed to, so I think we're going to achieve that pretty easily. Where am I? I have no idea. <laughs> Can I get out yet? 
I can get out now. Okay, cool. So I'd want to close that. I want to close that. I actually need that one open because I need to be able to feed it in there. Then I believe we just need to kind of run back here. And then I just need water right that spot right there. So let's go right there, right here, right here. That should work. Oh, no, it won't. Right here. There we go. Then you can see there, it's actually already started to shake. That means it's working. <laughs> And that'll actually automatically see things. So if I had, I think I had some, uh, no, I don't have anything, man. Uh, well, we got some dust in here, so I can just go ahead and grab a, that real quick, just kind of show you. Uh, actually, let's just do the whole thing. Let's go ahead and grab a crate. Let's do it this way. Actually, why am I making another crate? Why don't I just put that crate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing this totally wrong. I did grab some levers. I grabbed them on purpose. I want to be able to turn these off at any given time. Uh, so this one always on redstone off. There we go. I want them all set the redstone off. So I'm going to do that to all three of them. So that way. Also, I need to fix that transfer node that I mentioned that I totally derped. <laughs> this one right here. I need a transfer node right here for this thing to actually function pro properly. There we go. That should start pulling out the tool rods, right? So as they break, they'll get replaced. And that's kind of the plan. So. They should have one, yeah, sitting inside the transfer node and just looking for places to send them. And uh, they're all going to start breaking in a second anyway. But anyway, the whole point of this was so I could do this, turn it off, that I can actually move things around. Or if I want to, I mean, I could have it set to, I could disable this one, change the filter, and then start doing, you know, gravel. Or I could start doing sand as well. So it'll actually do all three systems. Uh, I'm going to have to break this one. Uh, let's kind of go here. Do that sweet and uh we'll have to break this crate as well but we'll be able to use it for the whole automation which is actually awesome and it needs to go two down right so it goes something like that right there i think that's going to have enough range that is really my only worry because you can't increase the range on it i'm just going to make it the max size because i don't know which one that matters right now and then i guess kind of go down here and that's i didn't really explain that thing that thing all, pretty much all it does is uh grab things in a radius wirelessly through walls uh it's quite magical the advanced item collector awesome little item and i like it very much anyway we're gonna just take transfer i guess we need to be able to transfer i am gonna need one more crate i was right i was, th I was thinking i wasn't but anyway we'll do that right there that's gonna grab the sand right and then it's going to uh pump the items into the sifter that is the idea so if i take these now i want to see if they actually go why you no go in the sifter? I thought this is how it worked. Oh, why is there cobblestone in there? Oh, now it's working. Okay, let's go and take a look. We should see that items are actually going through there. And, uh, it's not super fast. If I made that longer, and I may, if it can't keep up, right? If it keeps up with the process, it'll be fine. But if it doesn't, yeah, there we go. It's spitting out the items now. I guess I just need one more thing here so let's kind of grab that that kind of works there but that's kind of messy what i was thinking was i all i have to do now is add one more crate um and then add a blacklist on it and that actually worked just fine so let's do that real quick let's go ahead and grab crate do that go crate do there so instead of being told to pick up items it's gonna be told not to pick up certain items and uh that'll actually fix that and only grab what actually drops out of the sift. So that's what I'm going for there. Uh, we'll need a dust. We'll need one of each one of those items. A dust, a sand, a gravel, cobblestone just in case, and a dirt. There we go. Let's do that. Uh, set this particular filter. So that one set the dust. Oh, which is the oh, which is why this one's still grabbing all the items. I should have remembered that. Anyway. We'll do that, and then this one here will be, I guess, the final chest, right? So I'll just throw it somewhere, like right here, and then go, uh, not pop anything down. I thought I made, oh, I didn't have the items for one more filter. That was the problem. And uh, yeah, I've been a little out of my element because I'm doing things completely in ways that I don't usually do it, right? I make it a complete mess over here, too. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, set this last filter. So this one needs to be not taking dust, not taking dirt. Not taking gravel or sand. I was going to do cobblestone just to be safe. 
and we're going to set it to blacklist this time. And uh, yeah, we're going to just go throw this here. It's going to grab everything anyway, right away. But I need to make sure it's not going to grab anything when it's actually writing stuff down. And, uh, yeah, that should just grab all the items, right? That should work. Kind of get that going there. I could turn that back on now. Sweet. And, uh, this should work. <laughs> we'll kind of see here in a second. If it kind of does everything it's supposed to. And if sand actually makes it here, it is making here too. So that is actually pretty cool. There we go. Is it getting the sand? I can't tell. Sand's getting here, but oh, there must be something in the filter wrong. Yeah, because I had other stuff in the crate, something got in the filter. I just need to fix the filter here. There we go. The transfer node, I should say. There we go. That handles that. I should be able to throw that stuff now and just have it picked up anyway. There we go. Yeah, I could just uh, get rid of you. You belong in there. You belong in there. You belong in there. And, uh, that should actually handle that. So yeah, I think we actually have this fully automated. This is actually pretty cool. So yeah, it's doing just dust now. It is doing nothing but dust. And if I want to switch this now, literally, I just have to kind of flick a lever. Then I would just change the filter here from dust. Uh, sorry, the filter on this one from dust to, you know, say gravel, right? And then I would have to turn off the machine. That one, that one, actually. These two would make gravel. So this one, this one would make gravel. And then if I wanted to do sand, I would have to, yeah, I'd have to stop at this point. So yeah, it definitely works. It would work really awesome, actually. It's actually pretty neat. And uh, I am actually quite happy that I did it this way because it's different, man. Definitely different. Anyway. Oh, did I just turn them all off? I'm, I'm totally backwards. I have to remember which one's on and off. But anyway, that works out. It does this thing. It's doing the trick. And I think it's actually pretty slick. So hope you guys do too. Because yeah, usually I do things totally different. But I think I may actually end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.